this natural soap is my Palma Rosa Road. That's what I call this one. And this is kind of an accidental blend I came across several years ago. It's probably one of my favorites. So what happened, um, the Palma Rosa is, can be, I shouldn't say is, but can be a substitute for Rose um, Absolute because Rose Absolute or any Rose essential oils are extremely expensive. So Palma Rosa was something that was suggested in some of my research and I don't really think it smells like rose, but it does blend very nicely for a very unique scent. But this is probably one of my absolute favorite blends for a natural essential oil soap. And the fragrances that I mix with this one is I've got lavender, cedar, cedar wood, excuse me, palmarosa, as well as some, I don't know how to say this. I need to look it up. Litsia, let's L-A-T-S-E-A. It's a citrus so it smells really, really good together. It's a wonderful blend. Oh, real quick, I did wrap this in biodegradable shrink wrap, so it's already wrapped and ready to go. Now with this particular batch I made this time, I did pour it upside down because I have a, I did a silicone impression mat on the bottom and um, these come off really nice, the silicone ones. But the top, I did a little bit of swirls. You can see that I did some drop swirls, a little bit of hanger. I wish I a little bit more of the differentiation with the colors that have come through but it still looks really pretty and you got it flipped over and that really neat design on the top. So for the natural colorants, I use a purple Brazilian clay and then just some zinc oxide. So the zinc oxide um, did add a little bit of the lighter color in there. And usually I add in some kaolin clay because that helps kind of hold and set those essential oils in the soaps to make them last longer. So let's go ahead and cut over to me making it. 